Good morning, artists. It's so good to see you guys. Um, I know we're all at home. I really wish that we could be in the classroom. I love being in the studio, uh, but unfortunately we have to do it from my house. So we're going to. So this week, uh, since Mother's Day is coming up this Sunday, don't forget it's Mother's Day. So you gotta be really nice to your mom on Sunday. Um, we're gonna do a little Mother's Day project for your mom so that you can give it to her on Sunday. We're gonna make us a nice, cute little card for your mom. Go grab some art making supplies, definitely some paper and scissors and glue and drawing stuff. And I will meet you back here at the table. Okay, kindergartners, let's gather the supplies that we're gonna need for this project. Since we are kind of making a collage and sort of a drawing, you're gonna need a piece of paper to glue everything down to. So find a background piece of paper. I'm gonna use this blue piece of construction paper, but you can use any color that you want or any size that you want. You're also gonna need a piece of yellow paper or white paper for your little chicks. Um, so find a yellow piece of paper. And then for your mother hen, they come in lots of different colors. So you could use a white piece of paper for your mother hen. You can use a piece of red for your mother hen or a piece of brown. And I found that if you can't find these colors, you can actually just go get an old paper bag and just cut a piece out. And that'll be a really nice piece of brown paper that you can use for your mother hen. And of course, you're gonna need a pair of scissors, some sort of drawing tool like a Sharpie and a glue stick. You're also gonna need something to trace for a circle for your little baby chicks. I was able to find this little lid and it's perfect. It fits in the palm of my hand. That's about as big as you want your circle to be. Okay, kindergartners, now we're gonna draw the shape of our mother hen. And there's kind of a fun, easy way that you can draw this. You can use your hand to trace in order to make your mother hen. And here's how it works. Here's the body of your mother hen and here's her neck and head. So if you lay your hand just like this onto a piece of paper, so do a big thumbs up with your hand and then lay it down on your piece of paper. And you might need help tracing it and that's okay. See if you can get your dad or brother or sister to do it for you. And you're gonna trace around, it's okay to do the bumps, around your hand, around your thumb and bring it down to your wrist. And then when you bring it back up, you'll have the shape of your mother hen. And I'm gonna finish off the bottom by rounding it. Okay, artist, now I'm gonna trace my little baby chicks. Remember, I found this little circle to trace. And I'm not gonna do it right in the center of the paper because that's just gonna waste all of my paper. So I'm gonna push my circle way down here in the corner and I'm gonna trace it down here. That way, I don't waste all of this paper. And I actually have a huge family, so I have to trace nine circles because my mom has nine boys. I have, nine, I have eight brothers. You can believe it. So I have to trace this nine times. Okay, now that I have all of my pieces traced, I'm gonna go ahead and cut them out. Whew, that was a lot of cutting. Okay, artist, now I'm gonna start assembling my piece of artwork. Let's start with the mama hen first. We wanna make sure that she's in a good spot right in the middle, because this is more about your mom than anything. So I'm gonna put her right in the middle, just like that, and I'm gonna glue her down. With a piece of my leftover scrap, 
I'm just gonna cut a beak. So I just need like maybe that much, just a little triangle. That's even too big. So I'm gonna cut it even smaller, just a little triangle. And we'll put that right on there for the beak. I'm also gonna use some of this leftover red to make some more tail feathers. So I'm just gonna cut some long shapes like this. They don't have to be perfect, because feathers aren't perfect. So I just cut some longer pieces like this, and I'm gonna stick those to the back, like this for feathers on the back. Now, if you wanna get fancy with it, you could also cut some little legs out with your yellow and glue those down. Or you can just use a Sharpie and draw the legs. That's fine too. I'm gonna to use a Sharpie just to make it easy. I'm gonna draw some stick legs and then a couple of toes like that. I'm also gonna finish the mother hen off by giving her an eye up here. And I'm gonna draw this squiggly line right here for her wings. Okay, now I have to glue in all my brothers on this uh, piece of paper. So I have nine yellow circles and I'm gonna glue all those guys down. As you can see, I have so many brothers that I had to overlap some of them because there just wasn't enough room. You probably won't have this problem because you probably only have one or two brothers or sisters or it's probably just you. So just find a place to put it nicely down here below your mother hen. Now I'm gonna go back to all my little baby chicks and I'm gonna add little baby eyes and a little triangle for the beak and then little legs. Okay, now if there's anything else you wanna to add to your picture, obviously you can. Um, I was thinking about maybe writing all of my brother's names on all of the chicks so we know who everybody is, but it might get a little messy. And I was thinking about maybe putting some clouds in the sky, but I also thought there would be an, it might be really nice to write something above it. So a couple of things you could put, like simple, would be, I love you, mom. So I'm gonna write that above it so you guys all know how to write it. I. I'm gonna put a heart, love, you, M, O, M. But you don't have to write, I love you, mom. You could also write other things like, you are excellent. See, it says egg, because chicken lays eggs. Okay, artists, that's gonna do it for today. I hope you guys had a good time today, and I really hope you make something for your mother. They've been going through a lot lately um, with the quarantine and having to be stuck at home and having to homeschool you guys. So please make something for your mom. Even if you don't make this project, make something for her and let her know how much you love her on Sunday. And you can tell her that every single day. It doesn't have to be just Sunday because your mom does a lot for you. So um, if you do do the project, please take a picture, please send it to me. I would love to see how this worked out for you. Um, and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys, have a great week.